All right. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, the bonds of the apostles, others, the great millstone, and salutation of the brothers for pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity and risking and lives and freedom to do so. This is a brother, Yana Guy, coming from the great millstone, child branch, and that's even a blessing. The one's edifying. It's going to be a quick one, Lord Willings. <clears throat> it's edifying. It's lacking just a bit. But, um, anyways, you know. We want to bring out some a couple of scriptures that prove that the Lord is in control of everything. All right, there's no such thing as wrong place and wrong time. All right, the Lord is in control of it all. All right, and um, I say that because uh, at my job they're talking about um, uh, like man, they're talking about death, you know. And um, before I was hired, there was a, a guy that was working there that was uh, 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 murdered, you know, in, in, um, in front of his house. I don't, I don't know the full story, to be honest. But <clears throat> anyway, he was uh, gunned down, and um. They were talking amongst themselves and saying that, uh, you know, why, you know, uh, why it had, you know, why it had to happen or wrong place, wrong time. He was such a good guy, and you know, but um, people seem to uh, don't seem to understand that the Lord just controls everything, man. Because they said one thing is that, hey, our life is already pretty destined, and then everything's already. Uh, play it out, but at least you don't even believe in the Lord, man. You know, I didn't go ahead and tell them and break down the scripture. I said, you know, I'm gonna do a quick scripture today, a lesson on this, you know, and, and prove that the Lord is, is the one that do these things, man. You know, there's no such thing as wrong place and wrong time. It's the right place and the right time, you know. And um, that's just what it is, man. It's a hard pill to swallow, but hey. Maybe that's what <laughs> it's the truth, you know. But this is first Samuel chapter two and six. It says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. Alright. Hey man. The Lord is 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 in control, man. All right, so all the babies being born now, the Lord allowed it to happen. Everybody that's receiving judgment right now, whether it be any type of way, in drowning or shooting or anything, it's the Lord. All right? So when he starts questioning why and how, I mean, Man, you really questioning the Lord, man, and that shit is going off. You know, and that's uh, that's exactly what it is, man. A hey, hey. hey, scripture talks about who perish being innocent. You know, let me get that. You know, because another thing, you know, and it, 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 I had to, you know. Put my feelings to the side and be like, no, nah, hey, hey, that's what it is. It's true. You know? Because it, it, you hear about a story about fuck, all types of bullshit, man. Especially happening to kids. You know, getting shot. Or, hey, there was two young students that got shot out uh, downtown Chicago. It sounds fucked up, man. You know, two kids coming right out of school. But that was the Lord's judgment. You know? Hey, at the end of the day, man, it, 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 it is what it is. You know, it, 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 that kid getting shot in in the car, the baby, and, and, and the two year old dying. You know, hey, even the stray bullets come through the windows, and you know, shit, man, that's the Lord, man. You know. And this is Job 4 and 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee. It says, Whoever perish being innocent, 
or where were the righteous cut off? All right. <laughs> That's what it is, man. So from babies, newborns to old people, you know, receiving judgment. You know, hear stories about old people getting robbed and brutally beaten. Hey, Amen. But the Lord allowed it to happen. You know. The Lord is in control of it all, man. The Lord is, <laughs> is, is putting out these judgments, man. You know? Let me get This is Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of, the, of water, he turneth it with, whithersoever he will. All right, the Lord is in control. Hey, shit. Hey, even Pharaoh wanted to let uh, uh, Israel <laughs> let uh, Israel go, but hey, guess what? He couldn't because the Lord hardened his heart every time, man. You know, the Lord is in control, man. You know, and that's just what it is, man. It's a, it, 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 it's the truth. All right. <clears throat> uh, the quick one, um, Zephaniah three and five. It says, "Uh, the just Lord is in the in the in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light." He faileth not, but the unjust, but the unjust knoweth no shame. All right, judgment is of the Lord, man. All right, hey, hey, the the Lord is in control of everything. <coughs> All right, let me get on. It's rock eleven. And 14 this is prosperity and adversity life and death poverty and riches come of the Lord all right and that's what it is man it's nothing to make a poor man rich all right the, the Lord is in control of everything man so he's in control of judgment you know he's in control of the ups and downs he's in control of everything so, yeah, man, Jay, Jay, out here lost in the fucking sauce, man. You know, but no one is a quick, edifying scripture of the day. You know, lesson. Until next time, Kwame Ashwala, Shalom.